everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss Treasure Hunt Smith's Hero Guide. So we're going to discuss the following, his stats, skills, playability, recommended Guardian Stones, synergy with other heroes, overall rating, and my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we are at Schmidt's hero profile. So Schmidt is considered a super elite treasure hunter. So he hails from the new nation Vagabond. I'm actually glad um, that they were able to add new light heroes to the game because we definitely need a lot more than, than Schmidt. Um, I think Seowa is also a light hero. So that makes two. He actually is holding a position, uh, attack position. He is also uh, a physical attack type. Schmidt is a bit um, in his middle years, so he's age 42. So for Schmidt's uh, st stats, Schmidt has uh, similar stats to FC Rachel. Uh, what I mean is base stats. Uh, so if you compare his base stats with uh, Schmidt for le at I think level 75, they have the same stats. So for his strengths, he has above average attack. He has above average attack speed. He has average HP and he has average hit. For his weakness, he has below average defense, low dodge, low crit hit, and low block so all in all um schmidt is doesn't have uh, pretty much out of this world stats he doesn't really he doesn't really excel in any of the stats he he is more of an average uh, general per se so as for uh schmidt's skills so for his passive he has counter three okay Upon taking damage, gain gain mana, one mana if target dies, gain one mana of health at uh, is at 70 or more. So he also has flow of mana, overtime effect, so back row allies permanently gain one mana. His other passive, which is prey, afflicts the prey mark when the skill hits, grants turn reset for allies, possessing master's footsteps when ally ally attacks an enemy marked with prey so once he applies prey through his attacks the other um the other allies within the team which have master's footsteps um, automatically re resets their turn so this is actually huge because you get to take two attacks to particular to the enemy team and you you could actually attack multiple targets with the reset of the turn so for his next passive which is guardian guardian reduces own damage by 90 percent when all allies with master's footsteps effect survives so this means that um if for example you have only two heroes that have master's footsteps on your team if they survive uh schmidt uh, get, gets a damage reduction of 90%. So if one dies, he no, lo no longer gets a damage reduction. His S1 is Grey Storm Sword. So deals 178 damage to all enemies. So mana cost is 3. So this one, this skill is basically the one he'll be using to activate Prey. So this will deal, deal damage to most of his enemies. That is why for Schmidt, you need to increase his hit although he already has he has i think above average hit but it's good that you add to that one so that you could you could automatically or you could you could increase the probability of triggering um prey with his high hit for his s2 which is grandmaster cross so deals on 1050 percent damage to one enemy it's a five mana skill but it's a burst skill this is actually a boss killer or a or a campaign uh, campaign skill but this is also very good in pvp because it allows you to not all uh, finish off um, remaining enemies or try to kill off as early 
or as many as possible okay so let's 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 take a let's take a back seat first in terms of schmidt's skills so schmidt's skills um especially for his master's footsteps it's a bit um it's a bit tricky because schmidt is an attack based character in which case his defense is pretty much low so it would be very much a be very much a challenging situation wherein you have to you have to increase his defense so from being low defense you have to have at least an above average defense so how do you do that um through his guardian stones through his skills sorry through his stats um but i think you can do it so for his animation most of it we've seen in in in, in the chapters already when he was added as, as a mandatory character but for his s2 his s2 is pretty much good as well in terms of animation um this is this is the one thing that i like about exo zeros because they put so much time in the character design and in the animations um I hope this would also translate into content into and into gameplay. Their the animations are are spot on. But before we proceed, guys, uh, just a friendly reminder: don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel. In terms of um, Schmidt's playability, um, he actually is number one very good in in your PvP. It will really depend on which which um which kind of pvp that you're going to bring him in as for pve so he is good in the chapters especially in dealing damage to the bosses he is actually also good or is going to be good in the holy dragon grounds for light day because he gives a lot of support number one to your other heroes because of prey that is why um if only you could increase his prey uh, higher than your defensive heroes um, it, or sorry uh, master's footsteps uh, sorry if you could increase his defense because of master's footsteps because master's footsteps um, affects his prey passive as well he's also good in your core rate, by the way so he's pretty much an all-around character uh, he just has to be built well for him to be effective so we now proceed to his recommended guardian stones. So Schmid um, actually has um, specific needs in terms of um, being him viable in PvP and in PvE content. So this is where guardian stones really comes into play. So the two guardian stones that I would recommend for him would be uh, number one is Frost. So for his frost equipment set effects, he gains block for uh, a maximum of plus 390, but he kind of doesn't need that. He mostly needs the additional defense bonuses once you awaken him with a, with a frost set effect. So if you awaken him with frost, he gets a maximum of plus 700 in his defense, which will bump up his or will help really big in his in his passive for master's footsteps the other uh, recommended guardian stones that i would like to recommend is your darkness set effect so if he is only with equip set effect he grants heal from damage of up to plus 30 percent but again if you awaken him which you must he increases his defense to a plus 500 and also it increases his hit to a plus 12. So these are the only two that I would recommend soul for the sole purpose that you should um, increase his defense uh, because of his passive. As for synergy with other heroes, so Schmidt is actually good with fast high attack heroes. Heroes that uh, take their turn quickly and deals a lot of damage because of the turn reset for prey. And also, he is good in pairing with Janai because Janai gives increased attack speed. Janai also gives mana to the back row, similar to Smith. 
and uh, Jinai also decreases the enemy speed. So both of them actually can play off of each other during PvP or even in your PvE content. So for my overall rating, um, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest. So we start with stats. So for stats, uh, Schmidt is a 4 because he doesn't excel much and he actually is good in the stats where he should excel in. Next is his playability for the content. So I gave him a 4 because number one, it's his playability really depends on the heroes that he's with, whether the, the other heroes have a lower defense than him. Also for synergy with other for synergy, I would give him a four again um, because it's really hard for him to bump up his defense versus uh, teammates who who are defense class because they have a higher base defense than him. So mostly um, Schmid would excel mainly with mostly attack heroes by his side because they ha also have a lower base defense. So for my final thoughts, um, for Schmid, you really need to increase his defense for survivability and for his passive. That's the only skill that you have to work on and that's the only skill that you have to improve on. The, a plus for Schmidt is if you have a healer like Dorka on your team, which is also fast and also could heal him as well. So for Schmidt, you don't really have to increase his attack, uh, but you have to increase his defense. Okay, guys, that concludes my video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.